Welcome back to the daily vlog. Weekly vlog? Daily vlog? Week? It's been a while. It's been a, it's been a week or so since I've done the vlog. Anyways, uh, it's been wicked cold. It's so hard to film outside when you're wearing like full weather gloves and things like that. And then you're cold. You just don't want to like move. You just want to like stay on the bike. You're like frozen. But it is what it is. Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Um, last block was good. Uh, the last couple days, I just kind of overcooked just slightly. And that's that was mostly my fault. Uh, I just pushed a little high on one or two days when it came to like training targets. And dude, overcooked me. But rest week, uh, today is Thursday. So the rest week's kind of coming to an end when i do rest weeks i do like monday tuesday completely off the bike and then after that i ease back in with endurance on wednesday and then oh wait my rest week started on sunday so i took sunday monday off tuesday i ease back in with endurance yesterday i did a longer like three and a half almost four hour just zone two ride and then today i'm doing three hours i'm gonna do the the wind up tractor pull efforts um, and then I'm gonna do 30 minutes of tempo at the very end of my three hour ride today. And then tomorrow's a rest day, uh, just hour recovery, Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, I'm gonna jump back into, back into training. Like now it's time to get going again. Um, so decent weather today. I'm actually out in like thermal jersey and leg warmers and whatnot. Uh, so I'm bringing out, y'all haven't seen this bike in a while bringing out the specialized uh our team is going to be on specialized next year so i was like you know what i'm gonna bust out my tarmac and, and ride it a bit it's rim brake i kind of wish it was disc but it is what it is i rode it yesterday i forgot how much i like this bike so on that bad boy today and then what else is there next week's gonna be wicked cold it's gonna be like 25 degrees all week i'll probably be on swift <laughs> But uh, I'm gonna head out to a uh, quick little like vacation in San Diego. Gonna go there for two days. Um, some of the team is out there. We're supposed to get our, our bikes and kits, um, our new team kits and our new bikes. So I call it vacation because it's not technically a team camp. It's a fun camp. So for me, that's just vacation. I roll in on a Friday do a group ride thing on saturday sunday some charity ride thing and then after that uh sunday i'm gonna go up to fresno where i'm gonna hang out with my boy nick baird for two weeks and we're gonna train and get after it so anyways three hours on top today lego oh it's been a good ride so far so far so far so let's just talk a little bit i know uh there's a lot of things that you guys love to hear and sharing my story and my journey of this off season with you. So let's circle back to, where do I even start? Threshold, let's go threshold. Um, this last block, the way my power to heart rate was looking, my perceived effort, the numbers I was pushing and hitting, we bumped my threshold up to 360. So we bumped it up five watts. And then on top of that, and then on top of that, we might bump, when I say we, me and my coach, might bump in another five. Just gonna kinda see how things go this first week or two of the block. Um, so that's exciting. Two, the second thing. So I'm trying to ride and shift uphill. Uh, the second thing, stomach issues. I will know uh, okay, I think, I think I have kind of got that figured out and I think it might be behind me or at least under control. So if I keep doing what I'm doing, it should not be a factor, which honestly, that is huge because this off season, it, uh, it has really made a difference. Like, I think the stomach issues is also causing lactate shuttling issues. And we're changing my diet and seeing a specialist. Just kind of like figuring things out. I think 
I think that whole, because the stomach thing has disappeared, the lactic shuttling issue has also disappeared. So it's kind of interesting. Now, like I said, I'll know how my stomach's actually doing with today's tempo for the end of this ride. But the one thing I've noticed since kind of getting it under control, so when I come back from rest, my heart rate isn't like hyper responsive like it used to be. Like I come back from rest and my heart rate would just slowly climb to the moon at endurance stuff. Be like, well, you're just really fresh. Like that was the answer. But I mean, it still does that, but it's not anywhere. So we're talking maybe a five to 10 watt difference five to 10 beat difference than what it was pre-rest. Tempo done, ride done. I really, so picking back up on the stomach stuff, really positive today. Um, again, I think, I think just doing what the doctor has told me to do, like, like I'm doing more of like uh, a gluten-free diet. I've noticed like bloating has gone down a lot. I used to have bloating issues. And then, uh, I don't know, it's just, I mean, things are kind of clicking. So, uh, tempo effort, uh, I thought it was 30 minutes, but it was only 20 minutes, which is fine with me, that's fine. And uh, 318, I think, for 20. So, my tempo range was 270 to 324. Uh, so, that was a little bit on the higher side, but uh, I felt pretty good. I mean, the legs are a little blocked up from just being a rest week, but outside of that, it felt pretty solid. So the plan now is to uh, just get back into training after tomorrow. So tomorrow is just our recovery spin and then I'm back at it. Um, this next block, starting to introduce sweet spot. So I did, basically I did two training cycles, two blocks, if you go two, three week blocks of pretty good tempo work and we built up my lot to, to doing uh, my longest effort was an hour and 45 minutes at the end of a four hour ride and I think I was like 310 or 315 or something like that for almost two hours at the end of a four hour ride so the tempo is I, I want to say it's kind of probably like maxed out like there's really the benefit now just keep pushing it longer and longer and longer it's not, I think it's kind of done. So, uh, my, and my, obviously that's my coach's opinion and I totally agree. So, uh, sweet spot is now on tap. Start diving into that for this next block. And then we're gonna move pretty quickly into doing threshold as well. Uh, and we're also gonna throw in some, some, some anaerobic sprint stuff things like that. Cause I mean, I got, I got racing in a month and a half. That's crazy. It's almost here. So yeah. Anyways, uh, next week I'm off to uh, vacation fun camp. <laughs> I call it that because I mean, it's not the whole team's not going, uh, just for guys who want to get away. It's not like structured or anything like that. It's literally just, let's go goof off. Goof off. So I'm going, over the weekend to make sure I don't derail my training because that would be stupid. But uh, hopefully bike is there so I can pick that up. And uh, all of my kits, helmet, shoes, gear, all that hopefully is there. I will show you guys all of that. And then I will do a legit two week training camp uh, in Fresno. So back to my old stomping grounds. Anyways, uh, I know this was a little bit different, a little bit shorter, but hey, Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep uh, riding and training hard. See you guys in the next one.